Hello, artist. Well, it is Halloween coming up this week, so I've got a really fun Halloween project for you. You are going to be making a cool jack-o'-lantern, and I'm going to teach it in black and orange paper, but you could use other colors if you don't have orange. So you need a full sheet of black and a half sheet of your color. In my case, I'm using the orange. Now, what's interesting about this project is it's about positive and negative space. And we're going to use what we cut out from this side and flip it over and glue it onto this side. So it will look like we have a whole sheet of black and a whole sheet of orange, but it's kind of a trick of the eye. So it's super fun. The first thing I want you to do is to do the outline of a pumpkin. I don't want you to start up here. Really, really important. You've got to start down about an inch and draw that out. Make it pretty big on your paper. Okay, so can you see that? I'm going to do it with my black pencil just to make sure. So that for sure is easy for you to see. Okay, we're in business now. I want you to decide what kind of eye and if you want to do a nose and a mouth you want to do. And you can pick a triangle, but you could also pick something else. So let's see, I'm going to pick like a half circle with a pupil in. And I'm gonna do a triangle nose, but I'm gonna make it a very wide triangle. And I'm gonna do a mouth. I'm gonna do pointy teeth. Okay, so how many lines did we do? One, two, three, and four. So now's the tricky part. We're gonna cut these out and we have to keep track of them. That is the very hardest part of the whole project is keeping track of your parts. Uh, all your Jacqueline, jack-o'-lantern parts. So it will take a while to cut out your shapes. Now if for some reason you don't like the shape and you think it would look better to trim it, don't do it. This has to be a perfect positive and negative matchup. So no trimming allowed. Okay, so let's just see how this is starting to go. Okay, there's that and see, there's that. Now look at if I flip that over, it works perfect. So you can either glue now or at the end. I'm gonna glue now and I'll tell you why. Um, now don't get your glue on your black paper. If you need a scrap paper even, come in. If you glue one piece at a time, you can keep yourself straight about each piece that you're doing. And it seems like it, you wouldn't get confused, but it's actually super easy to get confused. Okay, now I know I've got one out of four of my um, lines that I've drawn into shapes taken care of. So I've got to come back to here and pick another one. Now I want to show you um, how we're going to get this eye out because it's inside. 
Well, even though it's cutting the pumpkin, we're gonna go ahead and cut a slit in there. And that will turn out just fine. By the time you glue it down, you won't even see it. Okay, you can see that if you do very simple shapes, it's a little easier to keep straight or, or not be so confused with the cutting. I did kind of one in the middle. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, that would fit there. Then I flip it over to there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the pencil that I showed is going up. That makes sense. I'm calling this the pencil side because it's where we see all the pencil lines. I put that down, then I can look at about where it goes. Okay, so background done, eye done, on to the nose. Now this is uh, the easiest shape I have. So I only have to do two cuts and it's on the edge. So I don't have that problem about having to make a slot to get to it. Do you notice that whenever I put the pumpkin down, I don't put it up at the top. I put it here because this is the stem line and it marks up perfect. And down here, it mar matches up perfect to that little point. Okay, so I'm gonna put, let me check this. This would fit here, so it's gonna flip over. I'm gonna put glue on it. Matches perfectly right. This makes one line right down the middle of the project. One more shape and it's the hardest shape. If you made like 10 teeth, you're gonna be cutting for 10 minutes. I'm being careful to not cut all the way through. I could still make it work, but it would be like a puzzle. I'd have to fit the pieces together. Okay, I'm gonna put my pumpkin back, match that up at the stem line. At the bottom of the pumpkin line, I've got my straight line down the middle. Now I'm going to put, this is where it belongs. I'm going to flip it over. It's going to match that point and that point. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to use my scrap paper to glue on. I don't want to mess up my artwork. Put it right point to point. That's the trick of this. You gotta match it up point to point. Didn't even glue this one yet. Let's get this glued and you'll see when I glue it how that will disappear, that little slot. And I'm being careful not to glue on my black paper. Okay, I'm gonna line it up there and there and all along there. Let's see if it's gonna work. Fantastic! It worked! 
Now, I hope you have so much fun with this. I'm gonna tell you one extra thing you can do to it. This might take you a while, so you might wanna stop. But if you're having fun and wanna continue, you could use oil pastel or white pencil, white and black pencil or chalk, and you can do additional designs on top. These are from students from other years. And see, they've got spider webs in there and the spider. There's a vine. They just made a simple little design there. So do it this far at least. If you wanna do more, you can decorate it even further. Well, happy Halloween to everybody. Bye-bye.